Hi viewers the talk of the town in this week even national level in civil engineering is nothing but the construction of seven story building within 45 days Mr Rajnath Singh defense minister government of india inaugurate flight control system complex at DRDO defense research development organization bangalore karnataka on 17th march 2022 really it is a state of art building contains seven story approximately about 1.3 lakhs square feet area has been built with the help of larson and tubro company now we have a discussion based on that one mrs alakia how is it possible to do such a things it just do you have any idea about the construction methodology which is carried out yes sir obviously when compared to the traditional concreting practices everything will be done stage by stage whereas in this case they have done everything simultaneously which means there will be less time taking for the construction going on okay it is called as maybe of hybrid construction technology what i mean that there is a difference between conventional concrete technology and hybrid concrete technology yes in traditional concrete practices what they do is they will initially form the shuttering and in that they will do the concreting once the concreting is stabilized then the shuttering is removed but in this hybrid technology what they have used is they have done they have used both the conventional traditional practices as well as the precast elements are also used for example if a column is to be constructed then they have used a steel shuttering and in that steel column they have done the concreting practice so all the precast elements are already fabricated in the industry and they were erected in the site at the same time the concreting is done inside it means we have to be fabricate the various activities or various stages of the building to be what are the parts to be prefabricated what are the parts has to be cast inside is it, it yes so what they have done is some part of the elements are precast whereas some are just cast in situ like first they have excavated and then they have built the concrete foundation then they have given the grade slab once grade slab and the concreting everything is a cast in situ one whereas from there they have erected the already precast exterior wall surrounding the building and from there they have organize the columns like they have placed the steel columns where the columns are there in the same positions and then they have done the concreting inside the steel columns here these steel columns are nothing but they act as a shuttering but they are the permanent shuttering they didn't remove the steel columns they are placed there permanently whereas after that they have introduced all the toilet cabins everything are the precast once the toilet cabins which are precast are placed then they have placed the steel hollow sections are used as beams and then beams and slabs are casted so with all this work like they have taken 6 days to complete one floor that's why that's why you what i found that the entire the some of the structures for example beam or column or has been casted monolithically right yes okay what is the use of this knowing this technique to the all civil engineers so there is a lot of advantage with this technique like if you see the traditional concrete practices it is uh, the traditional concreting constructions require high number of labor and also there will be less productivity like there will be high risk everything and most importantly they take more time to construct whereas this hybrid technology is using both the cast in situ construction as well as the precast construction this requires very less amount of time to complete for example they have completed the construction of a seven story building in 45 days whereas in the 
traditional concrete construction only to complete a single floor it may take more than a month to complete yes. it sure so it is obviously it is that that means a huge amount of concentration has been given for project management isn't yes, it yes sir project so management so for team management and time management and anything will be managed well planned that one in the in press meet itself the authorities are declared that even though it is completed within 45 days it has been planned a year back then what are the things has to be uh, prefabricated well in advance what are the things has to be cast in sight and so on mrs alakya do you have any idea about curing of concrete in this project normally curing can be done quickly adding auto curing compounds and uh, using high early strength cements rapid strengthening cements by carrying all those factors the time required for the curing can be reduced yes yes it is advantages of this construction practice yes, too yes yes then uh, let me know what are the simultaneous activities to be carried out how you carried out the the works in simultaneous way like once the ground floor is constructed and uh, the next floor slab beam everything are casted they have simultaneously started electricity works erecting the interior panels and doing the false flooring everything they have done simultaneously along with the construction of the other floors so this made them reduce the time limit for the construction and the thing here is like everything is planned initially along with the planning they have done the execution at the same part keeping in the mind that it is a time bound project yes finally we conclusion that it is a full cooperation of a to z that even it is a highly uh, risky job also right okay what do you know about the various stages of in terms of casting of elements like here they have casted columns beams and slabs also they are partially cast in situ and partially prefabricated for example if we take a column they have used the steel hollow section columns as a exterior part and in that they have done the concreting now they have used the precast elements erecting is done as well as concreting is done simultaneously to achieve a monolithically constructed structure that's why they may be using the word it is called hybrid construction hybrid technology. construction hybrid exactly construction. The, because that, of this construction only they have used the name as hybrid that technology that means some of the portion might be casted inside some some may be in prefabricated prefabricated okay. yes mrs alakya thank you very much for your uh, wonderful information given regarding the hybrid concrete technology which is implemented in seven story building in drto complex bangalore thank you very much amma welcome mr chinna let me discuss about the prefabricated informations which is involved in this hybrid construction technology give your idea or give your views in that matters sir as if the project is main highlighted because of it is been finished in 45 days now the whole nation is talking on that project just because of time saving so to reduce the time it is been well planned and it is been positioned and the major objective is like as if the madam has told these are all complete precasted when it is coming for utilities plumbing sanitary electrification works these all went perfectly just because of well planned system that means the any fabricated panels has been incorporated the yes. provision for electrification and water yes. distribution too yes sir so when it is coming for plumbing and sanitation works the plumbing is different and sanitation is different plumbing is mainly involved in water utilization and when it is coming for sanitation the water what we use it is like waste water it is been moved from sanitary pipelines so the dia of the pipes when it is been compared the dia of the pipes are different when it is coming for plumbing and sanitation what are the provision provided for air conditioning duct yes the precast cabinet? yes like cities like bangalore it is definitely need of having a ac so they went like a convex closed system of air conditioning vbf like vibrating flow conditions 
So that made good impact when the air conditioning system in that building. Okay. Obviously, we need some, since it is a multi-story building, it is exampled as a seven-story one. Then uh, what are the uh, fire protection system to be provided? Yes, sir. So fire protection system is comes under safety. So they followed the rules of life safety code and with inclusion of building codes also. They took the code from National Fire Protection Association and they followed those codes and they maintained the FPS systems. Okay, finally, what will be the finishing stage of uh, activities uh, like a glass panels, anything is there or uh, fall ceiling works? Yes, sir. We could, we could see in the image that what they had published, the glass finishing was very good just because of those are fitted to the aluminium frameworks with the help of they might use glue guns or any uh, tapes to stick to the frames right coming to fall ceiling work much of man labor is involved for making that no machinery could be helped for that and they made such a beautiful fall ceiling inside we could see in the images what they had published it is clean and neat maintained with the grid panel systems how they furnish the exterior look for architecture view any glass panel provision is there or yes sir we had seen the images that glass panels of very good light blue color they had fitted there mm. which is of grid system rectangular boxes which gives very good look when it is seen when it is for exterior look so we experienced that uh, even though the activities are finished within 45 days the actual the skeleton may be finished within 40 or 42 days then the external activities like finishing the water distribution sanitation and tiles maybe of i may have forgot to ask one thing about what about the interior decoration is there anything to since it is a working complex na yes sir yes very good point sir what you had taken but here I would like to raise one point that much of manpower is involved when it is coming for decorative systems. Yes, yes. Like making the tables, desks, <laughs> drawers and everything, it required manpower and the raw material should be in advanced bulk there. Oh. So if the raw material is shortage, the time period would have been extended. Yes, yes. So finally, we come to a conclusion that this project is a wonderful experience for every civil engineering students and as well as practitioner too. So, so whether we hope that this much of practices are taken to the next level. Yes sir, even DRDO has published that they were planning this project last one year back and they given the statement the next building which is going to come yes. will be the of hybrid technology. Yes, yes. they are awfully, awfully that one. Some of them are associated with them, even though the building has been executed in DRDO complex. It is uh, executed by the company of LNT Private Limited, and the design may be checked with the help of IIT Madras and IIT Roorkee. Too. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for your information. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you.